All right, what's up, guys? So I wanted to do this video real quick just to explain something to everybody, uh, something that you should know about the Xbox Series X. So a lot of people are asking me, when I play Crisis 2, a lot of people are asking me if uh, the game is running at 60 frames per second. So let me just explain this to you. And correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But the game itself, because since Crisis 2 is an older title, the game itself is not going to run at 60 frames per second. It's going to run at whatever frames per second it was running on, like on the Xbox One, Xbox 360, you know, any console that it came out on. But if the game has, you see how Destiny 2 has that X um, slash S at the bottom of it? That's how you know that it's optimized, and that's how you know that it's going to run at 60 frames per second. But if it doesn't have that at the bottom, or if it doesn't have that on the casing of the game, it's not going to run at 60 frames per second. It's going to run at whatever frames per second that it was before. So the only way for it to run at 60 frames per second is if they... And that's something that I think I brought up in the uh, video that I recorded of me playing Crisis 2. Is if they come out with a remastered version of it. But other than that, the Xbox 360 version is not going to run at 60 frames per second. Unless you play it on PC and then you do the stuff... I don't know how uh, PC... Um, like how it works because i barely play on pc but i think that's really the only way how but if not then yeah it's just going to run at 30 frames for well that i think that would have to be like a uh game or from the developers and stuff but the xbox series x will not like transform it into 60 frames per second so no, nah, it's just going to um, play the game. That's it. And the only way that I was able to play this game is because they have, like, EA Play is now available for Xbox Series X users and stuff for free. Or, like, added on to their Xbox Game Pass um, uh, subscription. But, once again, the game itself doesn't run at 60 frames per second. Unless, if you buy it, so if, if you were to go get a disc um, copy of the game, and it has that on top of the screen that it runs at 4K quality, 60 frames per second... And what game I, I think I uh, just recently, yeah, it was uh, PG, P, yeah, PGA um, 2K21. And at the top of the screen, or at the top of the case, it says 4K Ultra HD Xbox One X Enhanced. And I think that means that it runs at 60 frames per second. But if it doesn't, but I don't know for sure. I just, you know, it's just 4K quality and yeah so that i think but i think most uh things i don't know maybe it does run at uh, 30 frames per second um but that's uh yeah that's I don't, I don't i don't know for sure it doesn't say that it runs at 60 frames per second but i would imagine that something at 4k quality that it would run at 60 frames per second so anyways um yeah i hope this video was helpful i hope it um hopefully uh, answered your question in case you was wondering but yeah, once again, the game itself has to be optimized, so they will have to either come out with an update or an optimized version of it, kind of like what they did with the NBA 2K21. They came out with the Xbox um, or Xbox One uh, uh, version, and then they came out with the Xbox Series X version. And uh, yeah, but that that game is still trash. Like you, you ain't missing out on anything. So. But anyways, yeah, hopefully this uh, video helped you out. If not, then I don't know what to tell you because I'm just as confused as you. So hopefully this video was hopeful. But anyways, um, but all right. So, but no, that that is one thing. Uh, we'll see because I was playing on the OG Xbox One. So I think, yeah, the OG Xbox One wasn't running games at 60 frames per second. I think it was like it topped out at 30 frames per second. Because uh, playing this game, uh, playing World War Z, I did notice that the graphics was uh, slightly different. But I think that was a graphics thing. I don't think it had anything to do with the frames per second. But the quality just looked better. I did record a video of myself playing this game on the uh, uh, Xbox uh, Series X. So if you want to go check that video out, um, you very well can. It's uploaded. It's been uploaded for some time now. And also with this game, uh, totally accurate um, battle simulator. This game runs at better quality and better frames per second. But... I think a lot of these games was already optimized to run at 60 frames per second. I think just because it's like an Xbox 360 title and they haven't remastered it. Because they did remaster Crisis 1. And I think that game runs at 60 frames per second. And uh, actually, you know what? No, let's, let's, let's check real quick. They might... Well, then they might be playing some copyright music. So never mind. You could go check out the trailer um, yourself. But uh, yeah, they did remaster Crisis 1. 
And I think it, you know, 4K quality runs at 60 frames per second and all that stuff. But I think because uh, Crisis 2, it's like on the Xbox 360, they haven't really done no real legitimate updates to this game probably for some time now. And yeah, it's just, you know, it's running at the same frames per second that it was running at before. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video helped you. Uh, like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And peace.